Once I learned something I never forget because I make them into songs and sing them from time to time, like this. Create a vortex, a race by in the vortex array. Enable vortex at trip array, vortex at trip pointer. Create a vortex array, find the vortex array. Enable vortex at trip array, vortex at trip pointer. Create a vortex array, find the vortex array. Enable vortex at trip array, vortex at trip pointer. Create a vortex array, find the vortex array. Enable vortex at trip array, vortex at trip pointer. Create a vortex array, find the vortex array. Enable vortex at trip array, vortex at trip pointer. Create a vortex array, find the vortex array. Enable vortex at trip array, vortex at trip pointer. From my YouTube channel, C++ 172023 Coda SQL OpenGL, OpenCL, TBB. Please click this playlist. From this playlist, scroll down, open, episode 79. If you have a membership, you can access this video. From episode 79, OpenGL, OpenGL Programming Guide 9, 3rd episode. We learned buffer song. More, you can double click this link, download current video source code. Show in folder, unzip it, rename the folder 0, 80, copy, paste it in your working directory. From episode 80, double click this solution. From solution explorer, source files, open source.cpp, control F5. You should be able to build successfully. Now close it. Close it. You can find function init. Scroll down. In our previous episode, we learned buffer song. Now we create vertex array object. GL create vertex arrays. This is plural. We create one one vertex array object. Vertex array object. Then check GL operation failed to create vertex array object of course we need to define vertex array object in the global section gl uint vertex array object we set to zero now scroll down. Let's try. Control F5. It should build successfully. Step 1. We acquire unused vertex array object name so this is vertex array object name now step 2 gl find the vertex array vertex array 
this vertex ray object. Find the vertex ray object. Step three. Enable vertex attribute array gl enable vertex attrib array we have to pass index save all open shader triangle vertex so this location I will unpin we are passing this number from vertex shader I missed copy, paste, failed to find vertex array object here. Check GL operation. Failed to find vertex attribute array now press ctrl f5 it built successfully now let's try not this number this is set to 1 we set 2 ctrl f5 It seems to be working fine. Now let's keep going. Step for vertex attribute pointer CL vertex attrib pointer the first is index let's try 2 size this size means in this vertex component count we have two component what two so we pass number 2 type this vertex type element type is plot gl plot so gl plot then normalize we will set gl pulse we will discuss more about this normalized then stride stride is zero we will also discuss about stride in future session for now just set zero pointer this is offset we can say buffer offset zero. We will also discuss about this. Then copy paste failed vertex attribute 
pointer. Now press Ctrl F5. It's still built successfully. Now we create a function for the display static const plot black. This is array. We would set 0.0 f 0.0 f 0.0 f 0.0 f This is alpha value. Then gl clear buffer fb gl color draw buffer 0 value black gl bind vertex array vertex array object then gl draw array we are drawing triangles triangles so gl try angles first is zero count count means vertex count one two three four five six so six now we call this function in the message pump this is our message pump we call display then glfw swap buffer we have to swap buffer window now let's try control F5 we failed now close it close it this number is zero in the vertex shader we have to set zero also zero then press ctrl f5 now it works correctly so in vertex array in enable vertex attrib array this number zero represent this location for example 5 we can set 5 also it should be 5 this enable vertex attrib array this 5 represent layout location 5 for input vertex position now press ctrl f5 it works correctly. If we set 0, for example, it does not work. No, it doesn't. I hope you understand what this means. I would set 5. Now, what is this number 2? 
This number 2 means component count. In this vertex array, we have two elements for one vertex. For example, we can set 0.5F, three component, copy, 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 paste, paste, paste. Now it should be three. In such case, it should be three. Control F5. It works correctly. If you happen to set it, for example, 2, then it does not work. It does not work correctly. Now you understand what this means. I set it 3. What about plot? This plot means this vertices. Elements are of type plot. I hope you understand all these things. Finally, here, if GL is a vertex array, vertex array object, if it is equal to gl true, then gl delete vertex arrays. This is plural. The count is 1. Vertex array object. This count 1 means this is one vertex array object. This 1 means this is one vertex array object. In future, we can use multiple vertex array object. So, this completes our first journey to OpenGL shader programming. Now close it. If you want to create full screen application, for example, then you can pass here, then control F5. Now in full screen mode, something wrong. We will learn more about full screen mode in some future session. Now back to null. Sorry, we have to close. Press Ctrl F5. It should work successfully. Create a vertex array spy in the vertex array. Enable vertex at trip array vertex at trip pointer. Create a vertex array spy in the vertex array. Enable vertex at trip array vertex at trip pointer. Create a vertex array spy in the vertex array. Enable vertex at trip array vertex at trip pointer. Create a vertex array spy in the vertex array. Enable vertex at trip array vertex at trip pointer. Create a vertex array spy in the vertex array. Enable vertex at trip array vertex at trip pointer. Create a vertex array spy in the vertex array. Enable vertex at three array vertex at three point Create buffers named the buffer storage. Find the buffer to its target. 
create buffers named buffer stories, bind buffer to its target. Create buffers named buffer stories, bind buffer to its target. Create buffers named buffer stories, bind buffer to its target. Create buffers named buffer stories, bind buffer to its target. Create buffers named buffer stories, bind buffer to its target.